G'day guys, Lemon Eating Cow here, and today I am back with another Final Fantasy XV guide, and this time it's going to be on the intensive training mode, which is unlocked through episode prompto. And to get this unlocked, you just have to finish the main campaign, and you'll unlock this and time trial mode. So this is kind of like the core Leonis fight that was in the uh, episode Gladiolus. So it is really quite challenging. And uh, hopefully this video will give you enough tips and uh, a little bit of tricks to be able to beat her with uh, a fair amount of ease once you know the, uh, the tricks to it. So anyway, let's get into it. So one of the biggest tips I can give you right off the bat is prioritize dodging over absolutely everything. She does a lot of damage and you really don't want to get caught up in it. So a big thing to point out too is that when she did that move there that she kind of jumped into the sky it's a good idea to switch to your submachine gun and get ready to aim at her flying at you if she manages to hit you with that attack it can do a lot of damage you can dodge that attack but it's far better and it's far more punishing if you're able to shoot her out of the air and then you'll be able to do a com uh, counter attack and stun her once she's stunned, I usually switch my baton and get a few uh, melee hits in and then I tap triangle as fast as I can and then that will let you do uh, usually three crack shots and crack shots are going to do about 4 or 5k damage each time you do them so you definitely want to prioritize on that. So when she isn't doing that uh, tech skill of hers, you can try shooting the barrels to hurt her but I find they don't really do all that much damage that I can notice. Maybe I'm doing something wrong but they don't really seem all that effective. So during the time that she's on the ground, definitely again prioritize dodging and uh, just use your pistol, but definitely stay out of her combat range as much as you can. The big thing is going to be waiting for your tech skill to come up and you're going to want to use trigger happy when you can. It's best used in pretty close quarters. Uh, I tend to find if she's a bit too far away she'll just dodge all those attacks, but yeah generally if she's pretty close it works. And usually I skip out on the very last attack, the charge up attack, because I've found that sometimes she can attack you and knock you out of that and it's really not worth it. So usually just tap the shoot button until you get near the end of the animation and then roll out and that, that's a pretty good damage cop out to her. So otherwise most of the other parts of the fight is just going to be dodging as much as you can and shooting her whenever you have the window. A good tip is that when you get too close or she gets too close to you, stop firing and just roll out. I find if you hold down the shoot button and try and shoot her while she's too close, you're going to get caught by her attacks. Here you go, you can see I shot her out of the sky there and I did a counter attack to her. And now she's on the ground and we've got a few chances for the melee attack and then bang, we follow up with the, uh, the crack shots which are going to do quite a bit of damage. So at this point in the game you can see Aranea is kind of uh, powering up I guess. This is her kind of enraged mode. And in this mode she's going to do a lot more damage, her attack's going to have some AoE effects to it and she is going to do this uh, dragon dive um, limit break. Make sure that you roll just out as it's going to land and you'll avoid the damage on that one. It's fairly easy to avoid, just roll as much as you can. But you will notice now on the ground she is a lot more dangerous. So this is where rolling and dodging is going to come into play a lot more. Because she's going to do a lot more damage and it's quite a lot easier to get hit by her this time. So yeah, definitely prioritize dodging. Uh, she's going to be a little bit hard to hit. But pretty much if you can't get any pistol shots in, if you find you're getting punished too much, then simply roll away until you get your trigger happy tech up. Otherwise you still have your potions and your elixirs and your phoenix downs. Always try and use your potions and elixirs before that phoenix down because you only have one and you don't want to get trapped without it. So here I got a bit lucky and I managed to get that last charge shot in just as she was diving towards me and knocked her out of it and counterattacked for the finish. But uh, otherwise I think using those little tips and tricks that I gave you is uh, not going to make it trivial but it is definitely going to make it easier. I've seen a few other people doing this and they didn't shoot her out of the sky which is going to be a huge source of damage for you. So if you can get that down and get your dodging down I think this should be uh, not too hard for you. So anyway guys, um, I hope you enjoyed that video. If it helped you out please leave a thumbs up. If you've got any comments or suggestions then leave it in the comments section below. And if you haven't subscribed already then please do so. This has been Lemon Eating Cow. Moo. No.